Hi everybody, welcome to my newest edition of how to be basic work uniform. Today I'm going to be talking about wearing a uniform to work or even if you are a student, you can wear it to school. Now I have started applying this kind of method four years ago and I felt that it has helped me focus on what is important. For those of you who do not know, I work at an international school. I teach high school graphic design and photography and it is a seven to three job where it requires me to kind of develop student skills and and art and kind of broaden their horizons, giving them the opportunity to try different tools such as digital design. Back when I was just graduating, I read online about people were wearing uniforms. They tried it out for a week. They wanted to try it out because there was a whole science behind it. I don't know how real this is. You know, this might be a placebo effect, but basically the science behind it is that it helps you kind of decrease the amount of mind energy that you spend in the morning kind of deciding what you want to wear and utilize that on what is more important. Something more visible is that you don't worry about wardrobe malfunctions. So basically it just helps you prioritize your work. Maybe it's a placebo effect, but it has helped me so much become more efficient and be the person that I am today um, in terms of time management and efficiency. And also at the beginning, it helped me save my money. I really like to express myself. I love clothes. I love wearing like outfits, but I feel like for work, you're trying to be a professional that's not what's important unless your job is to be a fashion guru or whatever I have to invest my energy on helping students grow and that's not what I need to worry about but I do want to look good so I wanted to make sure that I picked an outfit that was fit for me and then kind of roll with it so these are the reasons why I feel like uniforms work. So now I've already talked about this, but the first reason is that you save money. Why do you save money? I bought this dress from Mango. My very first outfit was a black dress and then I bought five sets of it. In fact, they didn't have five sets in that particular store. So I went to like three different stores just to get it. I made an effort to do that, but I wanted to start out strong. So I wore my outfit. Yeah, and then I saved a lot of money because like the tendency is that you want like every time you're sick of your work outfit, you want to buy a new one. You're like, oh, this would be good for work. But no, because since you've established a uniform, you only need to worry about like what you want to wear outside on the weekends. And you, I think it saves a lot of money. So the second, it's oops proof, which means that you've already curated your outfit. You've thought about what you're going to wear, the color, the style, everything is determined. There are tendencies where people wear something to work and someone's like, oh, um, it's a bit see-through, or oh, um, I can see a bit of your like underwear. And then you kind of worry about that the entire day rather than focusing on what's important. And then three, I've already mentioned it, you stay focused on what is important. Because you have curated your outfit, I wake up, I brush my hair, I wash my face, and then I dress up, and then I put on my makeup. And that is the routine that I have built in the morning. And you don't need to worry about, oh, what I wanna wear, I'm gonna change it later on. No, you've kind of established this routine, you wake up at a certain time, you're certain that you are going to finish at a particular time, and then you go to work. So I'm gonna show you four of the uniforms that I've worn in the past. So the first one is a mini black dress. It wasn't so mini, yeah, I was from Mango, and I decided I wanted to wear this because because black I felt like was a good color for me to kind of just look professional and then also making sure that if I spilled anything, it wouldn't be seen. Second one, I decided I wanted to be more loose. So I decided to put on a pair of culottes. They are black and then I paired it with a turtleneck short sleeve beige top. And that was from Topshop. The bottoms were from Zara and then a vest from Zara. I only had two of the vests and then I had five of the tops because it was kind of a thin material. I think I bought four sets of the pants because it was also a bit of a thin material. So I wanted to make sure that like, if anything happened to it, that I was safe and I had like four more left. The third one is I decided I wanted to go for a dress again, but this time I wore long sleeve black dress. And this one was from ASOS and it was very affordable. Um, I ordered it online. I just needed to pay a $30 shipping fee because it's an international fee. And I shipped it all the way here. I bought five of these dresses and then I wore it from Monday to Friday. And then my last one is the one you see right now, which I have. This is a forest green top from Aritzia and then my high-waisted black pants, which are also from Aritzia. Because I feel like Aritzia has better quality items, I bought 
four sets of the top and then two at the bottom and I don't really mind that I wear the same pants twice and then I wash it because my work doesn't require any physical activity I'm sitting in an air-conditioned room most of the time so I mean unless like I run in it then I actually wash it and then last but not least so I want to help you pick your own uniform so I have four different rules okay first one you would need to pick a neutral tone color now there was one year where I was trying to pick my uniform and I picked this yellow skirt and I was thinking I was like okay maybe like I think it's just too vibrant and like if people saw me wearing that every day it just it just stick to their head the reason why I pick a neutral tone color is so that people won't remember it as much no patterns just like solid colors but if you don't mind wearing the same pattern dress every single day then go ahead and do that second pick a simple style long sleeve nothing too like showy no backless none of that just simple t-shirt or like pants or skirt stick to the basic outfits now in a place where i really like buying basics is uniqlo but there are other stores that provide nice basics as well then the third is the fabric and the fit as i mentioned before when my budget was way lower back then i picked out something from top shop and the material was quite thin so i bought five of those you need to find an outfit that is flattering to your body type you don't want anything that like is loose and then it shows your armpit or just something that is too revealing and not appropriate for your work environment but you wear what you want you express yourself that's up to you so I think that like as long as I'm teaching I'm probably going to implement this every year there's some people that just wear a standard outfit for like the next two or three years I feel like I still want my creative outlet so that's why I wear a new uniform every single year every new school year and also it's a good way for me to remember which year like so if ever I take a picture I know which year that was from because I remember that outfit so I think that it has worked for me it depends on who you are as an individual it might work for you it might not work for you so let me know in the comment section down below what you think do you think that you would want to implement a uniform or do you not want to up to you if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section down below and i shall see you next time